There is a push to get that model of healthy work environments, environments into more Texas offices. That's after a new health report showing Texas is the eighth most obese state in our nation. KXAN Steffi Lee shows us how the workplace programs are operating. It's a lifestyle. Honestly, every single day. And now, company culture. People can reserve a time to get on the treadmill and on the bike as well. Paige Kroll says the chance to keep working while walking. Makes a big difference. It's time Texas wants to make even more of a difference statewide. How do we bring resources to these communities where so often those resources don't exist. CEO Baker Harrell says with this new report highlighting the state's obesity challenge. It's going to take our policymakers at the local level and at the state level providing the funding necessary to do what we know works. Right now, the nonprofit partners with communities and companies building programs to live and work healthier. People can access their toolkits and resources online. Employers feel lost sometimes. What can we do? What should we do? People like Ian Goodman work with It's Time Texas to answer those questions. Whether it's a challenge, whether it's something that we're going to do as a team, um, and making a connection to the community. Because even a small change outdoors or indoors that really adds up can leave a bigger impact. Steffi Lee, KXAN News. While well, the United Health Foundation report puts us in the bottom for obesity, it shows a couple of areas where Texas is getting healthier. Our drug death rates have dropped over the last four years, and Texas adults have been smoking less. This time, Texas is hosting a statewide competition that begins next month where you can track your activities and earn points for your community. 